When we started, you know, we were these college dropout kids. Um, our parents didn't have money. Um, we literally you know, went from donating plasma to going doing practice studies, the medical studies where you go in for a weekend and you go in two weekends and make like 1200 bucks. So when people say blood, sweat, tears, uh, that's literally <laughs> what we were doing in other bodily fluids, right? That they were paying us uh, for. And so uh, we had to bootstrap the business. Um, and the problem with our business is it did not fit traditional banking well because we didn't have real estate, we didn't have properties, we didn't have buildings, we didn't have land. We didn't, what in a traditional sense, feel like we had a lot of assets. So being able to borrow money was very difficult. You know, we had to fight, I think our first one was an SBA for maybe 30 grand when we were really little. And that helped a lot at that stage. But obviously when you start growing a business, it's not enough money. And so uh, I remember we've done the PACE program. I think we did two different parts where the first was like 300,000 and went to 700,000 and getting 1% money not only getting the 1% money that would save us a lot, being able to get that type of a loan that I don't think we would have gotten without BND participating in that. So $700,000 is huge for us because we've used that to grow. Most recently, we got the Accelerated Growth Program. Again, a huge deal for us because we were able to secure a several million dollar line of credit that would normally never have been possible to invest into a business, again, most banks would not touch, meaning the only way we could have got that type of money was selling off that business. And if had we sold, they would have moved us for sure. We uh, got introduced uh, through a mutual mutual um, acquaintance, uh, B&G and, and First International, and, and we sat down with Brady and, and got to know him a little bit. And, um, you know, trying to put a package together uh, to, to get capital for these guys. and. And at the time, the accelerated growth program was was very new, um, so it couldn't have worked out better timing. But um, you know, BNG being the kind of company that they are, like Brady said, they don't have a lot of inventory or equipment or hard assets that traditional banks are looking for, and it doesn't mean that they're not worthy of financing, though. And and that's where Bank of North Dakota came in to bridge that gap with the accelerated growth program. Um, you know, backing these technology types of companies that are worthy of capital but don't necessarily fit in that traditional financing box that banks are looking for um, and so it couldn't have worked out better. I think you know it's one thing for these guys to have taken the time to learn our business and understand that we're worthy and why but before they weren't able to do anything it's hey I like you you've got a great story we see where you're going but we just, I'm sorry, there's not enough assets to grab. And so literally you talk about perfect timing, that accelerated growth program allowed the bank to not only vet us, but then actually be able to do something to allow a company like us to, to grow significantly without having to you know, bring on investors um, or go to Silicon Valley, right? And sell off part of the business to do it. So it's been huge for us. And so that's, that's really part of you know, what BND's uh, mission is, is to bridge that gap between, say, a bank and a business, but then also bring in the concept of how is this going to help the state in terms of keeping business here, bringing people here, people keeping students that are graduating out of our universities here in the state. How is it all trickling down? And then also, how do we do that without competing against our partner banks? And so this Accelerated Growth Loan Program really helped with this deal expand how we are answering the question in terms of bridging that gap in terms of the what we're good at in North Dakota, which is egg and uh, energy. You know, how can we diversify other things such as tech and that if we could bring more of that into this state and bring keep companies here, a program like this is absolutely the answer that we need for uh, our partners and our businesses in our yeah. state. Totally. Yeah. And you talk about where that money is going. It's directly going to creating jobs. I mean, that, uh, um, I think that's really cool. So for the state of North Dakota, I think that program's doing exactly what it was intended to do, which is help North Dakota companies grow, help keep North Dakota companies in North Dakota, and provide them to tools that you know a lot of other places don't have. And that's what it's done for us. It's allowed us to hire good employees. We understand the business model. Our business model is recurring revenue. So every time we hire someone, we have to take a step back, they're a cost. Um, it's a long-term play. So having that flexibility to invest those dollars where we're paying interest only and a very affordable interest only while, those, while that revenue comes back to pay for the loan was huge for us. Um, you know, to the tune of you know, tens of millions of dollars, we've been able to add in business value because of 
the flexibility of um, that accelerated growth program.